Hey, welcome back to the channel. And um, on today's episode of Sip the Tally Films, we're going to talk about the run fits for the Baltimore Ravens versus the Cleveland Browns. Uh, yes, we lost the game, and, but, you know, as I promised, I'm going to keep it as positive as I can this week because uh, there were some good things done despite all the injuries, despite the, the bad leadership, and despite, you know, Lamar going down. But uh, defensively, from the second middle of the second quarter on to the rest of the game, the defense played pretty darn good. So we're going to highlight the run fits because we contained Nick Chubb to 25 carries for 75 yards over two games. And if you know how prolific of a runner Nick Chubb is, that's saying a lot to hold him to just three yards a pop. And keep in mind, this was the number one rushing team in the NFL. Cue the intro. And on this, we're going to hit about four or five plays, maybe a few more, just to show you the different run fits from um, the Ravens versus the Browns. Um, again, two games, he, we held him to 75 yards, three yards a pop. And in my eyes, that's good for a guy called, um, a guy like Nick Chubb. Um, let's get right into it. So, I'm going to, all this is going to be all end zone shots. Not going to show you very many wide shots. But um, starting off, a little sweep play. Uh, maybe bug sweep. Not sure. It's going to go to the to the screens right. Offense is left. And this is, you know, what I think it, everybody's got responsibility is. And keep in mind, I say think. Because I don't know. And really, I'm com confused about, you know, who's got re who's got responsibility is here because they're kind of stacked. So you could have this guy going here and maybe Bynes coming in this gap. Or you can have Bynes shooting there and him trying to cross face over in that gap. So this is where I'm really confused there. But everybody else kind of looks like they're aligned in, diff in their respective gaps. Ball snap and you see Matt BK trying to get out there. So in my eyes, this was Matt BK's gap. That is Bynes' gap. Then you got B-Wheel right here. You got uh, Queen shooting right there. Again, now, this, this alley is taken away. Queen takes that away. So now he has no choice but to get outside. No choice. Now, with that being said, it's this guy's responsibility to make sure he does not get outside. See gap responsibility. Take everything on with half your body. Leave this half free. And if he get out there, make it turn back inside. And when it turns back inside, six better be there, 56 better be there, and then a free D lineman better be there. So now he can't hit that because Queen didn't, didn't close that. Queen didn't close that. B wheel getting good push on, on his guy that's being solo blocked. Bynes is kind of caught in the trash right here. Bynes is kind of caught in the trash. And this guy right here is getting blocked. I don't know who this is right now. But Bowser still fighting. He got to do whatever he can not to let Chubb get outside. He got to. He's the last line of defense from keeping this at a, at a good play for the defense. He fighting. Look, he still got that outside on free. Now he can make a play on it, but he's getting held. He's getting held. That hole allows Chubb to get outside. So this is a great play by, by um, the defense. In particular, Queen, Brandon Williams, and Taj Bowser. Because if if he do doesn't if they don't grab him right there, he's there to attempt to make that tackle. I'm not saying he's gonna tackle him solo, but he's in position to make this tackle. This is one of a few you know good plays as far as you know defending the Browns' number one ranked rushing attack. Now on this play, you're gonna get a little bug sweep action to the defense's right, offensive left, and um, again I've drawn up there like where I think the guys have gaps, and it could be wrong because schematically you can start in one gap and shoot another, but just off alignment, that's what I'm assuming everybody has. Um, no free gaps yet, but again, really confused on, not really confused, but I just don't know what's going on right here. I don't know if always gonna try to stay outside and, and do that, but I do know if 81 goes in the pass route. Queen is is has got him pass pro wise, but as far as run fits, I don't know if Queen got this gap or always gonna come there and Queen has outside. But as far as eighty one going out on the route, that's Queen's guy. So you got you get a cut right here, and keep in mind, just keep this in mind for the rest of this play. Brandon gets cut, B Wheel gets cut, and you got Puller coming here, Puller coming here, and you got um, I think this is Broderick getting sealed. So you got Bynes trying to trying to shoot. You got uh, Queen look like he's trying to get outside to make up for it. So I'm assuming Bynes trying to cut this off. Queen going to try to get out there to help on that. And Bowser need to be working his way 
backside. He needs to stay a hole behind Queen. I mean, a hole behind Chubb. That way, if he tries to cut up, he'll be there to hit it. All right? And then Matter BK, just work. When he makes sure Baker don't have the ball, just work flat down the line. But first, you got to make sure Baker don't have the ball. Baker don't have it, and that's a good job of Matter BK. Just check it. Now, look at his eyes turn toward the run. Now, get down the line, uh, Matter BK. Now, but what's happening over here is they pretty much got a hat on a hat. Bam there, bam there, bam there. Got a hat on a hat. Keep in mind, this cat was cut and didn't stop. And remember, he had 11 tackles last week with a lot of effort. A lot of effort. So we get here. Oway wins. This, Oway wins. Oway fights off the, the tackle. I think it's the tackle or one of the pullers. Gets inside of him and wins. Now makes him cut back. Now he got to cut back, and right now he looks like in good shape. Oh, we're making him cut back. Look like he maybe can stick that guy up the field. But he's going to win there to make him cut back a little bit more. And when he decides to slow it down, oh, we're going to fall in on the tackle. And even though this long arrow still drawn, watch watch your Brandon get down the line mm, and get in on some of that. This cat been playing a lot of effort the past two games. Big B Will. All right, on this next play, you can see my – Potential gap responsibilities here. Uh, OA, AA has, he's lined up like he got this B gap, which I would hope <laughs> that's not the case. Um, I can't tell who this is. I think it's Washington, Queen there. Uh, I think this is Juicy. You got Welch. You got uh, Matt BK. You got Brandon Stevens. And you got Bowser. And you got Chuck in here too. So it's really, it's 10, it's 10 Browns out here. And there's one um, receiver out wide. I think Westry is the, receiver we have you know lined up with the one the single receiver they got i think it's westry out there but watch watch this guy on this play let's let's focus on welch on this watch his footwork watch his footwork ball snapped queens is is, is diving to this gap washington's trying to beat him so he won't close that off this gap, if they had run something right behind here and it would have been uh, the running back on AA, I think they would have won. <laughs> I think they would have won, but they didn't. They didn't. Got a, this guy pulling around, trying to get to uh, Welch or Chuck, but Welch gets so tight in there that I don't even think the puller sees him. The puller looks around and sees Chuck, and so he's going to come around with his aiming point right at Chuck. Welch going to slide right in there. Welch never crosses over. Remember I said watch his footwork. He never crosses over. He just slides and shuffles. Never crosses over. Slides and shuffles. In good position. Good position. Good position. Now, at this point, 77, you got, you got to pick and choose now. Because he didn't see Welch until the last minute. If he sees him now. But his track is taking him to Chuck. Look who's in great position to make that tackle. 57. Great position to make that tackle. And if he cuts it back. Washington then, then choke slam this man out and he can make that tackle. So great run fits right there. Matter BK blew up the whoever this is. Let's see what Matter BK did. It's Matter BK versus the tackle. Matter BK versus their tackle. Well, he didn't blow him up just a stalemate. Set the edge. He just he set the edge so much that Bowser didn't even have to because Matter BK set the edge. He ain't let him expand that hole. So it's a good job by Matter BK, by Wilch, and Brandon. I mean, not Brandon. It might be Washington. By Washington, by getting cut and then getting back on his feet, being ready for a play if, if, if need be. They ain't just getting on the ground and laying there. Great team effort. Great team effort. Now, Stevens out there getting rock bottom. What's going on with Stevens? Oh, this Stevens versus the old lineman, I think. Oh, he just slipped. He ain't, ain't he doing nothing bad. He just slipped. Steven just slipped. I take that back, Brandon and Steven. I'm sorry. Now, on this play, they, they did get some positive yardage. So, not all these plays, but we just completely stuffed them. They got positive yardage, positive yardage on this play. But let's check out Washington. Let me, let me put it in slow motion. Oh, I didn't give you the gap responsibilities, but I think. You got Sack Daddy there. There. Queen there. And again, all these lines I'm drawing could be wrong because they could switch gap responsibility at any time. Like right here with, with Washington and Welch. You're sitting there with this gap open. One of these two got that gap. But 
as for a pre-snap alignment, I don't know who because both of them inside. I mean, Washington could swing there and Welch could shoot there or Washington can go there and Welch can go there. But it's, this, this is where the game is going to be played between these two because they kind of stacked on top of each other. And your outside contain is Bowser. Now, with this being said, I still don't know who got this guy. Because Washington steps down, Welch steps down. And I think Welch stepped down because he's reading this block. He get a down block right here, he's stepping down to fit in there. So I, I'm assuming either he has two gap responsibility or he should be getting to this outside. Now, with the way he playing it, because he's kind of doing what he wants to do with that with that old lineman. Two gap right there. You see Welch react late. Welch reacts to the fullback. Fullback, the fullback's like, and hey, no, you didn't need to go up in here. I'm just bouncing this open gap. Welch bounces with him. Then he comes off and, and gets over there with him. See you cross face right there. Cross face right there. Now him crossing face allows us to have a chance uh, to make this tackle for, you know, not a, a huge game. Because he still get yards. But if he stays on this side, Chubb now has that lane by itself. Like, he, he don't even, they don't even get a hand on to slow him down. Because Brandon is still not just going. He kind of had a position trying to see if he want to get up out of there or not. Stevens, I mean. Again, good job of sealing the edge, not letting him get the edge too. Making it work back to your help. Look who's in on top. And he fights for, you know, three or four, two or three more yards. Because uh, the defender was sliding down him, but still. Good defensive play. Good defensive play. All right, next, next example I have here on the screen. You can see I tried to figure out, like, run fits, but you got him outside. You got Bowser outside, so I don't know who has this gap. Um, these two guys with this gap and this gap. Uh, he's lined in there. And you got three gaps here with two people. So I got question marks. I don't know who's going where and whatnot. But let's see. Bring the guy in motion, which now creates more confusion on my end as far as who's got what gap. You get down blocks. You're basically everybody blocking down. And Chubb's going to hit it off this left side because I don't see any pullers. I see that gap taken there. I see we have two guys kind of potentially being in the same gap here. I don't know if Queens are shooting or what. But if Chubb hits this, with the way this looks right now, if Hooper blocks out and Chubb hits this off of 62, you got a one-on-one -on -one with Brandon Stevens. Chubb and one-on-one -on -one with Brandon Stevens. Let's see what, what you know what happens. They get a double. They end up double teaming right there. So now he's working to split the double. Now Queens looking directly at Chubb. And he has to mirror Chubb if he decides to try to run through him or bounce it. He has to mirror Chubb and start the process of getting him on the ground. He's trying to mirror. And this is something that Queen used to didn't do. Watch him uh, just don't get blocked by the guard or the, the old lineman. I don't know if it's a guard or tackle. He used to just fall right into those. Now he sheds it. And he's right back face to face with Chubb. And who's this outside winning? This is Houston outside winning on on hoop on uh, their tight end. So now Chubb don't have no outside release. Queen has scraped over the top, and now he's still face to face with him. The only option Chubb got is if he jump shoot right through there. That's the only option he got. But at this point, you got Brandon starting to react. You got Bowser starting to fall in. You got a uh, Westry right here. I don't know if Westry has any kind of pass um, responsibility. Houston did a good job of getting at the feet. Queen's here to help on the tackle. Good job of team defense. Again, the key point here is Queen. Queen used to shuffle, 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 and then when something would happen, he followed right into this double team block and be walled off. And then this would be, bam, right there. Now he's using his hands. Using his hands not to be blocked. Using his hands to shed and still be in position to help on the tackle. Progression. Progression by Queen. And this play here, this is a bonus play. Don't really have nothing to do with run fits. What's going to happen is they're going to uh, play play pass. And I think Bowser has the edge. And this, instead of giving up the fullback and the edge, he decides to go to fullback and Baker runs. My my question is, to see the gap I got highlighted right here? Whose responsibility is that gap? That's my question. Whose responsibility is that gap? 
because if they were running the play, if they because they it looked like play action, they were running the play. Nobody's here to fit that. I don't know if you know if it binds or not, because if binds, you know, he probably got a key, and this key may be the fullback. And if his key is the fullback, he's going that way with the fullback, which is rightfully so. So the only only guess I got right now is his binds. And look at binds reading the fullback, going with it, reading the fullback or the guard. If he got to read the fullback or the guard, both of the, that flow tells you go left. Well, right for him, our left. Now. With that being said, you still got your edge guy. Got your edge guy. He's technically contained. Now, why does he turn around with him? I don't know. Because he's technically contained. If he contains that, if he if he comes in and contains that, Avery got to be there to make the tackle on that or that. But now Avery got this coming too. So I think Bynes chasing the, the play action really put us in a bind right here. Cause now they're they're they outnumber us on this side of the field. You got one, two, three, the fourth guy right here coming versus our one, two, and the third guy right here coming. They have us outnumbered. So I don't I'm not saying Bynes is wrong for reading the guard or the fullback, because both of them had full flow this way. And this is the fullback, this is the guard. And he's reading no guys, they gone. But it really put us in conflict. So this is good play design by by the Browns. And really heady by by Bowser. I'd rather Baker run than him dump it off the Chubb and Chubb get 1,400 yards on the play. So this good heady play by Bowser and you know Baker you just get what you get we'll take you running. I'll take a look at the next play. Alright. Got a little motion with Landry. Kind of going, kind of widen the edge out because you see Oway move when Landry comes over and kind of comes up as a stand-up tight end. So what I really think they're really trying to do is just set the widen his edge out to run this counter back the other way. Because you can see now 77 and 31 starting to pull. Queen shoots it, but because he doesn't get through that clean, 75 gets something on him and gonna kind of fade him this way. So you're getting pushed by. So Queen's out to play. Now you got, this is Bynes. Bynes, who the last play that, you know, the little pass play, the bonus play, he read 77 to 31 and he shot to the side with him. Same thing. He see him going, he coming. He coming. Bynes coming. Taking on a fullback. Landry doesn't really do anything with Oway but widen the hole. Now, that gives 77 a running start to be with Owe. Then you got 31 coming to take on, on um, Bynes. This is a lot of room for Chubb to work with. A lot of room for Chubb to work with. And they actually got us on this one. They got us on this one. You got a, a hat on a hat here, a hat on a hat here. You got Landry finna block this dude. The only person that can come through and make this tackle and keep it at a respectable game is Stevens. Good thing is Landry doesn't get his block. That's a good thing. Landry kind of waits and doesn't get his block. So now Chuck. Chuck has an opportunity to keep this at a minimal game. Chuck ain't fast enough. He just he don't give a move or nothing. He just run past Chuck. And we end up put Stevens end up pushing him out, out of bounds later on. Not all not all the run fits was perfect. I just I ain't want to put a a, a a a tape together just perfect plays. This wasn't bad. This is one of the few times they got us. And this might have been his biggest run. All right, let's do one more. Let's close it out with this one. Uh, you got Queen highlighted, and they're close to the goal line. They're on, like, the five-yard line. Let's uh, let's see what Queen does in the rest of the defense. Now, let's see with goal line. Let's see if we can kind of, you know, get these gap responsibilities, maybe. He got that gap. Westry is guarding people's Jones. Um, I'm gonna say Queen got this one. Got somebody there buys in this a gap. Somebody there. I think somebody's in front of Hooper. I can't. I see. I can't really tell. No, nobody's in front of Hooper. So I would like to think Chuck has that gap, and I don't like necessarily like Chuck having that gap. But I guess based off the person that we got in the game, he's what's left. I can't tell who this is right here. 
Is this Avery? I can't really tell who that is. How many Browns we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So maybe it's a receiver somewhere that I don't know about. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe it's one receiver somewhere I don't see. Oh, that's Tavon. And it is another. See, the shadow is another guy out here. This is Tavon. This is Chuck. All right. So, you got a guard pulling. If I'm not mistaken, Queen is reading that guard, but he can't just give up this gap. He can't just abandon that gap because Chuck can stick his foot in the ground and hit it right there. Got to step gap behind. He's a gap behind in great position. In great position. Now, if Chubb wanted to hit it right there, he can't. I mean, he could hit it that right there and try to run over Queen. But, you know, instincts say, somebody's in my gap. You know, I can't get there. So now with that being said, somebody out here got to turn this crap back. We can't allow him to get out here and run for a touchdown. Somebody got to turn it back. Good job of Oway fighting off the block. Watch 75 and Oway. This is 75 pulling right here. This old right, old way right here. He got the edge. Shoot them hands. Keyword hands. And now you're free. Look at that. Now he ain't got nowhere to go. So now, at this point, the rest of the defense got to show up. The rest of the defense got to show up. And somebody right here already showing up. That is uh, Matabike. Matabike showing up. Kind of missed. But you got Bowser coming on down the line. And Bowser was an outside guy. This Bowser right here. May show his gap responsibility. May show Baker didn't have the ball. And just like um, Brandon Williams in like the first play, may show Baker didn't have it, come flat down the line. Anytime he cut back, get in the mix. Get in the mix. Get in the mix. And he makes the tackle. Great team defense. Great team defense. Held this guy to... Um, Three yards per carry over the course of two games. And, again, this was supposed to be the number one rushing team in the NFL. Our guys didn't waver, didn't fold after a crappy uh, start to the game. Fought their way back. Didn't win. And I ain't looking for more victories. But I do want to applaud the effort defensively. Gave up 17 points total. Nothing in the second half. And gave us a chance to win the game at the end. Kept us in the game with a chance to win it at the end. My applause to your defense. And I just wanted to show you some of the run fits versus Nick Chubb. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, uh, retweet, and all that good stuff. I appreciate all you guys, man, and I'll see you guys soon.